friends. It has been two weeks since these little worms got fed. I have wanted to come check on them, but you know what? Wife has other plans for us sometimes. So now we get to see how they are doing right off the bat. Uh, glad there's moisture in here. It's been so dry out. I've been really worried <laughs> it's gonna start drying out the bin, but I think we're in a good spot. Now, if you missed last video, don't worry. We gave, this was the first time that we fed our new European night crawlers and the existing red wrigglers of our bin, something a little harder than just berries because we know with the worms, the sugar, it goes quick, right? They love the sugar stuff. So berries, uh, peaches, fruit like that, watermelon, any melon uh, goes crazy quick. But this time, we kept it sweet, but we gave them banana peels. Now that they've had an appetite, banana peels do take a little bit longer to break down. And that's not shocking to see them here two weeks later. It just, you know, the banana peels break down, but they don't break down as quickly as things like our fruit does. Now, I'm not going to move around too much because I can tell there's a, a pile of worms over there, which is great. Um, so they're working on it. There's not a ton of other food in the area, though. And I can tell that even places like over here where they have been, I mean, I know there was primarily fruit over here, but uh, we're seeing a little bit of activity, but we know that they're, they're gonna need some food soon. And I thought we're coming up here on the next, oops, gotta be careful. I did not realize there were baby worms in here. Well, that's good. They're all over, so a good sign, but we're, we've been working in feeding them in a clockwise position. So this time, they're gonna get their feeding up here. And then I think next week, well, I guess we could go in the middle this week. Why not? Why not go in the middle? We'll start the process over again. Let me show you what we're feeding them this week. We have more frozen banana peels. And this one is just straight banana peels. I don't think there's anything else in here. And we freeze it like always to help limit the uh, bug exposure. But I'd like to, you know, summer's coming to an end here. I know that our sugary fruits like peaches and cherries and strawberries are going to be winding down for what's in season here soon. So I want to make sure we're still feeding them good food that they want to eat. But also I want to see what we're expecting uh, when we get off with some of that more sugary food because it's fall or autumn or whatever, winter. And I'm not super worried about bugs right now. We've been having um, a pretty good run down here in the basement and I think a lot of that comes down to quite honestly we're freezing the food um so if there's not bugs in the basement for the most part uh I think thanks to our spiders we're in pretty good shape but equally I don't want to find out the hard way and I don't want to freeze the worms too much so wrapping it a little bit in paper we'll just say we're going to put that up there that's going to help manage the cold it's going to help manage any of the moisture that comes out of it as it defrosts and in the off chance that there's any bugs, well, that'll help. All right, friends, well, I've got things I gotta go take care of in the garden before it gets too dark out. I'll get updates for you guys soon. But uh, what do you think we should do next with the, the bin? We're gonna keep feeding it. I'm kind of thinking we need to add some more shredded paper. Um, that way we can start managing moisture. It's been on my mind a little bit, and truthfully, just life said we're not working on that today so maybe we'll make that a priority over the next few weeks but let me know um if this was your bin what would you do next obviously we have a lot of paper from previous feedings uh still in play here uh, i don't want to take that out because it's obviously got worms and cocoons on it but would you leave it as is would you add paper would you add more coconut core let me know Okay, friends. Well, thanks for hanging out with us today. I'm Alessandra. I hope your bin is doing good. Your worms are doing good. Your garden is doing good and you're doing good. Have a great week.